In this question, we're asked to find, we're told that we have a line segment that is perpendicular to the line with slope 2 over 5. And we're told that the line segment has one endpoint, which is negative 4, negative 6. And the other endpoint is negative 8 and some y-coordinate. And so what we have to make sure we do here is write down what we know. And we're given that the slope is negative 5 over 2 of the line that we're looking for. So, and that's because if the slope of the perpendicular line is 2 over 5, then the slope of the line that we're looking for is negative 5 over 2, or the negative reciprocal of 2 over 5. We're also given that 1x coordinate is negative 4, and so the other x coordinate is negative 8. And we're also given that one y coordinate is negative 6, and the other y coordinate is what we're looking for, so that's our y2. And we can sub in because remember that slope formula is y, um, slope is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And so we're going to sub in all of these values we're given into this equation and use that in order to determine the missing y coordinate. And so when we sub in, the slope is negative 5 over 2. The um, y1 coordinate is the negative 6. And the x1, uh, sorry, x2 coordinate is the negative 8. The x1 coordinate is the negative 4. So now we simplify where we can. And remember that minus a negative is the same as plus positive. So this simplifies to be y plus 6 and negative 8 plus positive 4 is negative 4. Now what we have here is a proportion and remember that we can solve proportions using cross multiplication. And so we're going to multiply 2 times y plus 6 and negative 5 times negative 4. And so when we do that, Remember, that when we have something like this, we can't add the y and the 6, so we have to use the distributive property, so we have to multiply everything in the bracket by 2. So that simplifies to be 2y plus 12, because 2y, 2 times y is 2y, 2 times 6 is 12. Negative 5 times negative 4 is positive 20. Now we solve for y, and we subtract 12 from both sides. And so when we subtract 12 from both sides, it simplifies to be 2y over equals 8. We divide both sides by 2, so we get y equals 4. And that means that the other endpoint is negative 8, 4.